In this video, we're going to talk about defining a parallelogram and the properties or theorems of this parallelogram. It's just to show you them in GeoGebra, but not to do the actual proofs. Those are coming in a later vi video. The first thing is what is a parallelogram, and then we write it down. A parallelogram is, by definition, it's a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. Both pairs of opposite sides are parallel. So let me create one. I'm going to start with the line tool and put a point below it. So if both pairs are parallel, we're going to use the parallel line, line tool, select a point and parallel line. And now I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to do make a parallel line to this point. So now intersect. And now I'm going to create my parallelogram. And this is a construction because I can move it around. It'll always be a parallelogram. So let's go talk about what this, this definition means. And we'll um, remove the label. And I'm actually going to remove the x, y axis. I'll show you how to do that. You go to this one, show axes. So here we go. So let's talk about this parallelogram. A quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. If they're parallel, they have the same slopes. So let's check that. And click on the slope here, slope here. They're both the same, identical, negative 0.01, here and here. Now this is a construction, so if I move on any of the vertices, which I should be able to do, let me try that again, it's just frozen right now. I don't know why this one won't move, there it will. Any of the vertices, the slopes are always congruent. I'm going to just remove this for now while I get to my properties of the parallelogram. So let's see, the first properties are going to be listed as follows. So that point actually does not move, but all the others do. So let me write them down. Properties or theorems about the parallelogram. first one that we're going to discuss is the opposite sides are congruent. Now when we mark that, we write it like this with a pen, using a pen, when we say opposite sides are congruent, we would say this side is equal to this side, and this side is equal to that side. So let's just go show that using our distance or length tool. 5.08, 5.08, Two point six three, two point six three. And remember, this is a construction, so I can move the blue vertices, and it's always true. Opposite sides are always congruent. So that's our first property. Now let's get to our next property here. And um, I'm just for just for now, I'm going to remove these distances right here. It's, I'm not going to show these objects. So, and let's get to our next property and that says that the opposite angles are congruent. Let's write that down. So no matter what angle I have um, on this side, it would equal this side. So marking it, you would mark it like this. This angle is equal to this angle and similarly this angle right here is going to be congruent to this angle. Well because I created my parallelogram in the counterclockwise direction, I just click, click on the angle button and see that's true. Um, 116, 116, 63.82, 63.82. I mean, this is a construction, so if I move on the vertices, this will always be true. I'm going to move my strokes just temporarily, and um, now I'm going to show something else, that the adjacent angles, this is a different property or theorem, adjacent angles are supplementary or they add to 180 degrees. That's what supplementary means. So let's check that. I'm going to actually change my rounding to zero decimal point so it's easier to read. This is 114 and this is 66. So let's just check that on our calculator. 114 plus 66 should add to 180 degrees and it does. The last property is about the diagonal. So let me write down this property. It's called the diagonals bisect each other. So what does that mean? Well, let's draw the diagonals using the segment tool. 
I'm just going to remove these angles so they're not in the way of what we're doing. And what this means is that the distance, oh, let me intersect these first. The distance from A to E is going to equal the distance from E to D, and this distance here is going to equal this distance here. So let me just use the, the distance or length. They have a calculator that calculates this within. It's really cool. And um, see, this is always true. I'm going to bring my rounding back up to two decimal places, and I'm going to move one of the vertices and show you that, or another vertice, that the diagonals bisect each other. This is always true. Also, it means that if you were to find the midpoint of A and D, it would be E. Let me show you how that find that midpoint. This is the this is adding the x's and dividing by two, and adding the y's and coordinates and dividing by two. You just click on these two, and it'll come up with this midpoint. That's the same midpoint as the other diagonal, and it's always true because if I move on these vertices, it'll always be true. I hope you enjoyed this video, and this is our first part to our series about parallelograms. Stay tuned for the proofs next. Thank you so much for watching.